and welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. Um, today I'm going to share with you my experience sewing the free pattern from Peppermint Magazine in collaboration with Common Stitch and it is the loungewear, the free loungewear set. So I whipped this up last night um, after work and I used this really fun um, print that I got last year from Mood Fabrics and it's just this 100% cotton. It's kind of a, I guess I would consider it like a poplin. I don't know if that's actually the case or not. It's actually got a smidge, a smidge of stretch in it. Um, and I mean, you guys know beiges are not usually my thing. Beiges, tans, kind of like neutral colors, I guess, are not really my thing. But I really thought that the print on this made it super fun with the um, with the outlines of the hands. In retrospect, I kind of regret that I didn't kind of like mix and match the legging, the legs of the pants, um, because you can also see the print on the other side, but it's kind of on an off-white background instead of the beige. And I think combining those two could have been fun. Anyway, it is what it is, and I've used up the entire four yards of fabric for this pattern for my size. All right, so um, if you're not already familiar, this is if um, Peppermint Magazine um, offers free patterns. They've got a whole website full, or a whole web page full of free patterns, and um, I thought this one, you know, would be really cute. Just, I mean, I work from home 99% um, of the time. The only time I have to go in the office is um, when my boss is in town. So my boss is actually based in Dallas. So when she comes to town, then I go and meet up with her in the office. Otherwise there's really, right now, there's no need for me to be in the office. Based on my job, I don't really interact with people on a very regular basis. I'm not interacting with the product at all, really. So there's no like real need for me to go into the office. So I work from home. Most of the time I'm wearing what I slept in all day, <laughs> which is t-shirts and leggings from Old Navy. Um, so I thought, eh, let me make some loungewear that's a little bit um, more elevated than my basic knit that I'm wearing from Old Navy um, or Kohl's. I forget. I, it's probably a little bit of both. I have a ton of t-shirts and leggings, neither of which I wear outside of the house. All of them are for like lounging around the house. Anyway, so I got this pattern. I've had it for quite some time and um, I knew that I wanted to make it this weekend and I was going through my fabric stash and I I bought this because I thought it was fun fabric. Um, I had no idea what I was going to use it for and it just felt like, like the perfect pairing um, when I looked at it in my stash and I was like, oh my gosh. And it wasn't, and I just lucked out that I happen to have enough of it to make this pattern. All right, so let me talk to you a little bit about the sizing. So um, this pattern, from a fabric perspective, it, their suggested fabrics are light to medium weight woven fabrics like linen, cotton, hemp, other natural fibers. Um, it is a very beginner friendly pattern, very easy to put together. Um, and it's got this really like, the whole thing is oversized and I'll get to that in a minute when I get to the sizing. And there are only, um, there's eight pieces of the pattern, um, but the the top, the sleeves are grown on, so you don't have to do any inset sleeves at all. There is a front and a back facing. It's very easy to put together. And then the pockets I thought were really interesting. So um, I'll talk through that in a minute as well. Um, the seam allowances are one centimeter or 0.4 inches. Um, and let's see, all right, from a size range, so they they um, have alpha sizing, so it's A through K, and they don't give you imperial measurements, so I had to convert mine, because I don't, I, we did metrics in I think fifth grade, and I, it's lost on me. Um, so the bust, 
for an A is 78 centimeters up to the bust size for a K is 123 centimeters. The waist size ranges from 61 centimeters to 106 and the hips are 87 to 132. So when I did, I converted my measurements. So my bust is a 50.5, that converts to a 128.3 centimeter. And if you'll recall, the size K is 123. My waist is 46 inches, which converts to 116.8 centimeters. This size K goes up to 106, and my hips are a 52 and a half, which converts to a 133.4 centimeter, and this is a 132 for the size K. So if I were to go by the measurements in the size chart, it would have told me that I shouldn't have made this because, or if I made it, I would have had to make adjustments because my sizing is outside of the largest size range. Now, when I went to the completed garment measurements, that tells me a little bit of a different story. Um, for the completed garment measurements, the size K bust size is 170 centimeters, which is well bigger than my 128. So I knew there would be plenty, plenty of ease in the top. And I actually probably could have gone down a few sizes. Um, let's see, I'm 128. Um, and it just depends on what, uh, how much ease I wanted because honestly, starting at a, at a B, it's 130 centimeters. So if I wanted it more fitted, I could have gone all the way down to the B probably. Um, and I could have gone anywhere between the B and the K and probably been okay. I like the oversizedness of this, especially since it's loungewear. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with the top. The pants are a different story. So the pants measurements for the completed garments, um, the way, it's really about the hip measurement for me. The hip measurement goes from 104 centimeters to 149. And my hip measurement is 133, 133.4 centimeters. The, the 149, and I guess, again, this is all about personal preference. So as much as I love loose fitted baggy on the top, I usually pair that with something more fitted on the bottom. Even if I'm going out, um, unless it's a dress, which is a different story, but if I'm wearing a top and bottoms, I like my bottoms to actually fit so that it balances out how oversized the top is. And um, so I'm not used to wearing super baggy pants. And these pants, the finished measurement of the 149 centimeters is compared to my 133. It just feels super baggy to me, which I know was the intention of the design. Um, I just don't particularly love the way that it looks on me. I just feel like the whole thing is just, sloppy looking's not the right word because I don't feel like it looks like that. But um, I don't know, I'm just, it's, I don't maybe just not flattering or not appealing to me personally. So, the only changes that I've made to this pattern were I shortened the um, the legs on the pants. Other than that, I followed the directions. I followed the size K um, exactly. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the pants the way that they are, um, but I am at least size-wise because um, I'm just lounging around my house. I'm not wearing these out. Um, and it's fine. I mean, the waist fits because what you do with the elastic for the waistband is you measure it, measure your waist, and then subtract three inches. So the waistband fits. So, um, and let me talk you through the waistband because I thought it was interesting how they had you attach it. They gave you two, two different options. One is the traditional option of making a casing and threading the elastic through. Um, but they gave me a different option, and because I am trying to, you know, learn new sewing skills, I opted for the other option. And the other option, they had you, um, you know, do your quarter 
um, well, measure the elastic. Like I said, take your waist measurement, subtract three inches, and then um, you sew the two ends together. So you make the loop before you even attach it. Um, so you sew the two ends together so that it's nice, it's a circle. Then you quarter it like you normally would, and then you attach it to all the seams. So they're the side seams and the front and back seam at the quarter marks. And then you surge, uh, you stretch it and you surge it on. Then you flip it over and stitch it down. So I actually, because when I tried the um, pants on before I put the waistband in, the waist was coming up under my boobs. So instead of just flipping it under once and um, and stitching it down, I thought that the elastic against my waist was gonna be abrasive anyway. And because the waist, the length of the rise was so tall for me, I actually flipped it under again so that it would be fabric against my skin and I stitched it down that way. And I just, I stretched it as I stitched um, and so the waistband fits. It's just the rest of it that feels super baggy. So the other thing that I'm gonna, um, the one thing that I am gonna do um, after market, whatever you wanna call it, um, is I'm going to um, taper the, the legs. So I don't like the fact that they're straight down and wide. Um, so I am gonna, and maybe that'll help me like them better. Maybe it'll make them feel less like, huge on me so I'm gonna I'm just gonna take them in from the um, crotch down I'm gonna taper them in um, as far as construction this is definitely beginner friendly you've got a front and a back on the top with a facing and you just sew the shoulders together and the sides together you put the um, I don't remember the order actually um, I think you should you sew the shoulders together then you finish the edge of the facing, you sew the facing in, um, and then you just hem the sleeves and the and the hem. It does have a high-low hem, which is funny, because I think I've mentioned it in another video, my husband has mentioned two of my dresses that um, uh, my hem isn't even, it's kind of like a high-low, but not intentionally. When I showed him this this morning and said, you know, what do you think, he said, you did it again. You've got a, you know, your front hem is shorter than your back hem. <laughs> and I, I was like, well, this time it was intentional. So it's got a, um, and that is the other thing that if I make this again, I would change is I would lengthen the front just because, uh, again, my boobs lifted up. So it's a little bit um, shorter in the front than I would like it. Um, I Just like an inch or maybe two. Um, but I like the fact that it's got this like sloped, um, hem that goes longer in the back. Um, the pockets I thought were really interesting. I'll see if I can put a close up in here. So the pockets come in two pieces that don't aren't the same. So they're not an inseam pocket. They're this front pocket that's got like it's scooped out in the front, and then the back facing for the pocket just looks like it's the fabric, you know, from. I don't even know how to explain it. You'll get it when I show it to you. Um, but that was a new um, construction for me. So it wasn't difficult at all. So if you're a beginner, don't let the pocket um, pieces um, deter you. They weren't difficult to put together at all. And and then it's just, you know, side seams, crotch seam. You, you know, insert one leg in the other to do the crotch. It was really very easy. So, um, it's really about the sizing. So if you can get your sizing right, measure out your look at the completed garment measurements for sure. Um, I think, um, especially after watching a lot of different people on YouTube, like most people seem to like their clothes fitted a little bit more. This is intended to be baggy, but maybe it's the finished garment size is probably baggier. If it's baggy for me on the pant, <laughs> it's probably gonna be too baggy for you. Um, so that would be my only, my only caution is to look at the finished garment measurements. So other than that, yeah, I'm a fan. So um, from a fabric requirements perspective, the top takes anywhere from one and a half to 1.8 meters, depending on your size. And the pants take anywhere from 1.8 to two meters, depending on your size. So you can see for a size K, I needed close to four yards. Um, I had just a little, piece about 
that size maybe left over. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see, is there anything else? No, I think that's about it. So I recommend the pattern. Um, just be cautious about those finished garment sizes. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have made this and you've got pictures of it on Instagram or you've done something in YouTube, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to check it out. I always like to see what other people have done with the patterns that I've decided to make. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope wherever you are, it's a beautiful day like it is here in Miami. And I hope you're able to get in a lot of sewing. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.